Okay, so a lot of stuff came up this week and we've been kind of all over the place. Got a really, really big commission that we're super excited about to share more with you. It's the biggest piece I've ever painted beyond murals. And just to give some reference of that, we're gonna pan to some clips that hopefully can give some context. It's, it's wild, it's absolutely massive. Canvas, where are you canvas? I think the longest rolls that we have are 96 inches, let me just check. And like a 12 foot wide uh, available. Um, uh, we do not. No? the moment anyway we can get a canvas custom built like that for a 10 by 10 foot piece on canvas i was Ooh, wondering baby. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out where the hell to find a canvas that big is turning out to be quite an ordeal so I really didn't realize how hard it would be to track down a canvas that big. Most art stores really only go up to around six feet and this type of commission is pretty out of the ordinary and we were kind of getting a little bit hopeless but when all hope was lost, somebody finally came through and we have the 10 foot canvas. It's 100, 126 inches. So it would be, you'd have three inches on each side. Okay. So we finally found a canvas big enough for the client's uh, commission demands. It's a 10 by 10 foot piece. So what that means is we need a canvas that's slightly bigger so we can actually stretch it once it's been shipped to LA to be, to be hung and everything. But just to give some context, like 10 feet is almost to the roof. And so it's 10 feet by 10 feet. So it's absolutely, it's just, it's huge. It's the biggest piece I've ever done that isn't a mural. Also this week had a great opportunity to connect with uh, a really, really epic manager of one of the biggest influencers in the world. Uh, you may have heard of Logan Paul. His manager, Jeff, uh, had the kindness in his heart to hop on a call this week and answer a bunch of my questions. So to thank him, we're gonna be sending him a really, really dope piece. sick is this piece. Got the Maverick logo and all of the Stevie Chow fixings. And as a little extra surprise to congratulate Jeff and his wife on their newborn baby, we decided to paint this epic pair of Nike Dunks. So funny story about how the drawing on the shoes started. I was in Miami for a show um, during Art Wynwood, I think it was, and I only brought one pair of shoes, but we kept going to meet and greet events day after day, and I was getting weirded out by wearing the same thing every day and wanted to switch it up and spice it up. So I started drawing on all my clothes and then uh, got quite a response from it. And then that's what's led to uh, this shit. How cute are these shoes? And as always, we have our weekly giveaway. This week, I decided to go scavenging for a bunch of vintage toys to see what could spark some creativity, maybe invoke some of that beautiful childlike joy that we all love to experience through nostalgia. And uh, yeah, picked up a bunch of these toys and we decided to go with the Spider-Man. But unfortunately, the more that we got into it, the weirder it got and just how it goes with creativity, sometimes things don't really work out. So. The best thing that we thought we could do was to just get it out of our consciousness, scrap the idea, and move on to the next thing. So we decided to burn Spider-Man.
So with this week being pretty all over the place, uh, totally forgot to bring the actual new giveaway piece to this video shoot. So we're gonna keep it a surprise. But if you want it, like, comment, and subscribe on the video for your chance to win. Uh, winner will be announced on Monday. So thank you for tuning in to part one of the biggest piece that I've ever painted. Next week, we're actually gonna be painting this behemoth of a piece and sending it off hopefully by the end of the episode. Here's a quick sneak peek. Peace. Okay, okay I was in fun. <laughs> I'm not saying sensual Stevie Chow again. Well, I'm not saying sensual Stevie Chow a third time. Okay, how am I gonna hold all of this stuff? This is gonna be gone by the time this video comes out, but the more I see it, I kinda wish I kept this. How should I respond to this person to like be professional? I don't know. I was thinking of just setting a fire emoticon. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs>